Yeah, it's the, the pumpkin everything time of the year. I didn't make that box. A, um, a really awesome uh, client of mine made that box for me a few months ago. But uh, yeah, uh, it's the holiday season. It's a really fun time of the year. But at the same time, I think for, uh, for us out there who are trying to be loyal to our uh, fitness ambitions and are trying to live the, you know, that, uh, that uh, fitness lifestyle, I like to call it bodybuilding. But, uh, you know, it can be kind of hard. And I know when I was younger, it was, uh, it was hard to balance that out with, uh, I guess, all the things that pop up during this time of the year. And that's what we're going to go over today. We're going to try to uh, just give you tips and tools so that you can navigate through this time of the year uh, with a bit more confidence. So let's uh, start here with the board. People over food, and that's real simple. Uh, the way we've always done it in my house is that, you know, before anything else, you're there just to see um, see all those people who you really care about and to just have them all under one roof and uh, just to be together and that's numero uno that's number one um, I think when you don't put food on a pedestal when you're not uh, you know pledging allegiance to pumpkin pie or or doing this to, to mashed potatoes um, it becomes a lot easier to make the right decisions because it's really not a big deal anymore so you're going with that attitude it's gonna make it that much easier and uh, you're not gonna be all stressed out on the way to, to grandma's house. Um, after that is, and this is really big, I think for those of you out there who practice flexible dieting, hit fit your macros, which really is just portion control, okay? This is where you have the upper hand uh, on everyone else, basically, because other people see good food, bad food, whereas you see good amounts, bad amounts. Okay, uh, for example, I saw a uh, video, uh, this was a few months ago, where they just took this uh, medium pizza down the streets of LA and they were asking these random people on the street, uh, how many calories do you think there is in this pizza? And the guesses were just horrible, like 300, 400 calories for a whole medium pizza? No way. And you guys know this, so you know that when you have a side of macaroni and cheese that is calorically dense, and that's gonna uh, help you decide how much to put on your plate, whether you go back for seconds or not. So control your portions. I think if you do that, oh, it's gonna make your holiday season just that much better. Um, eat, and what that means is don't show up starving. If you show up starving, you're gonna eat like a starving person and you're gonna eat more than you want. Um, what I like to do is I will definitely cut uh, out a bit of my intake, you know, but not to the point where I'm there starving, okay? so. Uh, don't show up starving, have a few meals. Um, if you do decide to alter anything the day of is, I'd probably work out to add some kind of uh, buffer and help you out with the whole uh, nutrient partitioning thing. But other than that, eat before you go eat. Uh, next is whey. Um, and what that means is have a whey shake 30 minutes before the actual meal. And you'd be surprised as to how much this helps with satiety. It's it's really it's really quite incredible, and I've been using this uh, for years with uh, my uh, my chronic overeaters. But uh, give it a give it a try, and you'd be quite surprised. If uh, you don't want to pull out the whey shake, uh, then the next best thing you can do is when you get your food, is I would go with the protein and the veggies first, and that'll kind of uh, calm down the urges afterwards. Um, don't eat. So you know how we show up well fed. If you do kind of slip up and you go a bit overboard, um, I would say that the days after, that's probably the best time to just cut back a little, you know, because you've had the things you want, so it's a little bit easier to just trim off uh, some of the excess, uh, uh, you know, for one or two days, three at max, and nothing excessive, please. Um, and you know what, it's not on here, but l uh, last thing I want to say is that be a picky eater. Don't eat the things that are there year-round. Don't go. Uh, don't go becoming a, a bloated mess off. You know, ice cream, uh, chocolate chip cookies. Uh, you know, I love to stick to those foods that I just can't get all year. You know, all the things that uh, my dad and mom refuse to to cook unless it's that special time of the year. It's the time to you know go enjoy those because hey, I won't see them up for a whole year. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple. I think. Um, 
think if you do a, at least a few of these things, it's going to make your holiday season just much more enjoyable. And that's what it should be. It should be, it should be a joy. Uh, and not only that, but a lot of these things you can actually apply to other situations when a wedding, a birthday, or whatever happens. So there you go. All right. And uh, thank you for your time. And uh, we have a question and answer coming up real soon. So uh, looking forward to that one, guys.